Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So today I really want to talk about custom regions inside of Life by You. They just recently posted this video, but I really want to talk about it because I've got a lot to say kind of on this topic, but I just kind of want to give a brief overview on what they went over, what I would like to see, and some questions I had throughout it. So being able to share your lots with other players is really big, and I know that you can do that with all of the other types of mods that they have in this game, but I think being able to share like the regions themselves are really, really massive because that's whole new worlds essentially, like if you were to compare it to The Sims. OK, I like that you're able to basically create that type of a situation because we've all complained about the Sims worlds. Either they're too empty, they're too big, there's not enough lots, like whatever it is, that's not going to be an issue in this. And I'm really excited about that. I like to see that you can put mods within other mods, which he shows because he puts his tower that he did, which I did a video on that one and I'll link it here. But I did a video on that where he created a wizard tower and he actually put that mod inside of this mod, custom law inside of a custom region, which I, I appreciate and it makes sense that you can do it. But like like having seen that those mods will work together brings me hope that we can have a lot of other mods that'll work together like that and work well together. That's my big thing. A lot of mods will work together, but they might not work well together. So he talks about how you can change the terrain, but you have to do it inside of Unity. And that makes me a little bit frustrated because I wish we had a terrain tool because sometimes I don't know how to look in Unity, to be fair. From what I've seen, like if it's in Blender or something, I need a reference for the most part. I'm a very visual person. So having a, refer a visual reference in front of me when I'm sculpting an entire area for just size reference is really helpful to me. And if I'm doing it in Unity, I've never done that before and I don't know how that kind of thing looks but it makes me nervous because how easy is it going to be to edit your own type of terrain in this type of a tool I've never done it before like I said if one of you guys have let me know I would I'm more than curious to know how that whole thing works but no terrain tool is a little bit of a problem for me when it comes to like hills and valleys and stuff because I would like to explore that more like I haven't been able to really do in the sims I'm not good with this with the terrain tool I would really like to be able to be somewhat good at it in another game you know what I mean like if I can't do it in one game I'll see if I can do it in another and I I, I worry about it having to be in unity to edit those things I would really like to see a terrain tool because you might just need to make micro adjustments and having to unload it edit it in unity and re-upload it can be kind of a hassle not to mention kind of a time drain depending I don't like I said I've never messed with that so I don't know how long something like that would take. Also, the more <laughs> the more that I look at the water in this game, like as he plays the game, I don't hate it as much. Honestly, I kind of thought I wanted like realistic water, but like this water really does fit the vibe of the rest of the art style of the game really well. In my opinion, I actually kind of like it. I think it's kind of cute. Um, I'm sure that there's going to be reskins, like I've said in other videos, but I, I didn't hate it. Honestly, I just something I noticed while I was watching the video. The region itself has more like city builder vibes i noticed because you have to like fulfill needs and stuff i've been playing a lot of city builders and seeing that you have to fulfill needs inside of your own region that you create is kind of cool to me because i really enjoy city building games i like a lot of simulation games i love city skylines i've been playing manor lords a lot if you guys haven't checked that game out it is an also early access it's really fun you just play a medieval town and you have to build it out and stuff it's really fun it's really complicated and it can get kind of min maxi but in my opinion but i really enjoy playing that game and i kind of like seeing that incorporated in a life sim Honestly, like the big thing for me about the about Manor Lords is that I can go in first person and walk around my little town that I built. Being able to do that in this game also satisfies that scratch for me because my biggest complaint with City Skylines is that I can't like go in first person and walk around the little city that I built. And that's kind of frustrating for me because I like to see what I built on like, you know, the game scale of because you, if you're just looking at the game from the top down view and a zoomed out view, I feel like you miss a really good portion of some of the immersion that can come with these really cool games. And City Skylines doesn't have a feature that I know of. I'm sure there's a mod. I've actually never played that game with mods, but I've played City Skylines just normal. And I really wish I could walk around the little city that I made and see like all of the stuff that I put in. Being able to do that in this game is really cool to me because it kind of like satisfies that thing I didn't get out of video games for a hot minute. Because you either get first person where everything's super detailed, but you can't see a top down or you get top down and you can't go into a first person. And so I like having the ability to do both. So to me, that's really big. I like being able to do that. It's just, it's not like a necessity for me, but it's one of those things that I'm like, oh, I'm excited to have this and I probably won't use it a lot, but it's still really fun to have the ability to do so. I really like being able to place things on mountains, like lots and stuff on mountains, because it gave me a lot of ideas for stuff that I could do. I live by the mountains, so I see mountains all the time and I'm going to be honest, I hate them. I'm a beach person. I always have been. I'm an ocean person. I am not a mountain person as much as I hate to say it. I, I really... I actually don't hate to say it. I don't like the mountains. And I'm going to say that right here on the internet. I don't like the mountains. I never have. I, I don't get the appeal. I like the, I hate change, but I like the changing of the ocean because I like the sound of it. The uh, mountains 
scare me. Honestly, I don't like them. They're too big. Why are you there? I don't I worked at the top of one. Like I don't need to I don't need to see it every day. You know, it doesn't really change much. In my opinion, I know that's a hot take, but I don't like the mountains. Never have, never will. That's just me. I like rolling hills. I don't like when they're super big because it freaks me out. Either way, I'm terrified of heights. But being able to place on a mountain is really, really cool to me because you can build like I've seen people do like the cult sim like cult stuff inside of the Sims. And I think it would be really, really cool to build a cult that has to live on top of the mountain because in his video, it shows that it took him like his character like two hours to get down to the bottom from the stairs. And I think it would be really funny if there was a cult that was like sectioned off, just stationed up in the mountains and they had to wait a long time to get down and everything like that. Like, I just think that that type of gameplay is really hilarious to me. I, I don't know that they'll ever make the stairs faster, but I think it's really funny that you can, you know, they have to walk so far. I like the idea of being able to play stuff in mountains. It also unlocks a lot of other gameplay because imagine that we can build under terrain. You can build the bunker and have your sim live there i think that's a really cool idea we haven't seen them build basements or anything like that in this game so i don't even know if that's part of it and they haven't talked about it so i would be interested to see how that all plays out because you could build underground bunkers if you can build basements you know what i mean and building them into the mountain i'm just saying it could be pretty cool like i personally think that would be really cool also with him saying that you have to create the map in unity i want to know how many people are going to take like parts of their own town or even parts of other towns that they like and just Google scan them and upload that. I don't even know if that's possible, but like that's one of the ideas that I can think of that I would personally be interested in trying to do. Like I have places in the world that I really enjoyed being in and if I could replicate it, you know, I think that would be really fun. We see it in Minecraft a lot where people have done the whole world essentially where they try to build a one-to-one -one scale of whatever it is. And I think that that's really, really cool. And I think that we could see potential for that inside of a game like this. So I think that's really fun. There's also a thing with um you have to like build tourism essentially i don't know if you i don't know if it's called tourism but to have people move into there like after you've placed houses you have to build a bus stop or else people don't show up i like that feature he does kind of sneak in there that there are other objects in the game that do this but i would be interested in what those objects would be like can we do tours because if then you can build a national park on a mountain and have tours right and build like a wealth type of system like you could be a tour guide i'm assuming that's something that could happen i would also be interested if animals were in the game because we haven't seen any animals in the game we've only seen humans and it is early access so i'm not saying that they should have it in already but i could see that as a potential dlc pack that's the only thing i could really see right now is pets but they might end up just adding it for free later we don't really know they haven't even said anything about pets that I'm aware of or even just animals because building a zoo would be really cool to me. You know, just really expanding the universe that we live in. This is life by you. So I'm expecting that we're going to be able to do a lot of stuff that we could do in real life. And plus, I don't know how big zoos and aquariums are for people anymore. I love going to the zoo. I don't really go to the aquarium because it's kind of far for me, but the zoo is something I grew up going to a lot and I really enjoyed it. So troves are the other thing that he talked about and the troves editor itself. Troves are just the treasure that you get inside of the game. It could be from a lot of different things. A lot He used the archaeology one as an example, but you can change the frequency, the date, the time of when it spawns, how many spawn, if, if it's a limited type of spawn, you can change all that stuff. And I, that goes a lot because I don't know how troves really work all that well until I play the game and see how these things need to interact and like what type of frequencies would be good for these types of things. I don't really have an issue with the troves editor. It looked a little complicated at first, but the more that I'm looking at these menus and these sub menus that they're showing, the more like comfortable I'm becoming with it. And it's not seeming so overwhelming, especially when I get into the game. I don't think I'm going to have as many issues editing stuff. I probably will because just seeing it and then going to doing it, I'll have to refer back to videos and stuff for sure. But okay. Overall, I'm actually kind of like, cool. I don't have to like go to this other world through a load screen to do this and this and this just to come back and waste the entire day. I'm glad that that's not going to be an issue. But at the same time, like I don't fully understand how important troves might be in the game. I've been watching the gameplay videos and I don't think I'll make videos on those ones because they're they are pretty short and it's other YouTubers who are doing them. So I'm just going to let those videos play out i really want to talk about the modding stuff because those are the heavy like the heavy videos i'm liking all i'll just say in this video i really enjoy all the stuff i see inside of the gameplay videos i don't have any issues with them other than like just the basic character stuff that we've talked about on this channel before overall though i'm not going to talk about those videos because they're just short and i don't have a lot to add to them like it's, it's gameplay like i'm gonna want to experience it for myself also i don't want to burn myself out on this game by talking about it too much like personally so i'm trying to keep some stuff 
as a mystery. So those videos where they're doing gameplay, I'm not paying attention very much because I need to be surprised by something in the game or else I'm going to get bored really fast. And that's something I'm worried about. And it's just because it's in early access and there's a lot to do already that we're seeing, but I'm worried about my own creativity on like an ability to do certain things and time wise, you know what I mean? Got a lot of ideas, but I don't have all the time in the world to do them. So I don't know how that's going to play out. We'll have to see, but those are just some of my thoughts on it. The really, really big thing I saw with region editing is the population editing. So you can create certain types of groups of people and change everything about them traits dna like whatever to live in that region and i think that that's a really interesting thing to add because i have seen like you don't always get sims i'm going to use like the skin color of sims as like a comparison for this because i can't think of anything else the skin color of like your characters in the sims i feel like they're always white being able to edit that type of diversity already within it especially if you see that the game is pumping out like one type of person a lot, I'm, you can just go in and edit it and it'll help fix it. I really like being able to do that because being able to see a population and anything like that in The Sims is impossible unless you have MC Command Center. And even then, it's still like you got to go through a lot of little pop up menus and I don't mind it, but it's kind of frustrating when you're like editing a lot of characters because you want the world to look a certain way and you can do that in this. I also like the ability to create like insane populations. He creates people that have like this vibrant pink alien skin and that's like everyone that populates the town. And that's really cool because that will unlock a lot of story potential for your character, meaning you can just like it's kind of like Strangerville is a really good one for me to think of like. Strangerville has the really weird storyline and like the people are super bizarre and you can create something like that inside of Life by You. And that's really cool to me because I don't need an expansion pack to do that. And I get to create how weird they are. And I'm a weird person. So being able to do that is really fun to me. I'm excited for that feature, honestly. Being able to change those demographics would be really fun. You could do an entire city that's all men and they're terrible. Like that is an option. You could do an entire city of women that thrive without men. Like there's just, there's a lot of potential to do stuff and you get to create these really cool storylines, I feel like for your human, human, whatever people are calling them to explore. And that's fun to me. I really like that ability because they and you have unlimited storylines you can do whatever it's amazing not just from this one editor but i'm saying like that is more world building that they're giving us just in early access which is really fun to me i like that i'm excited for it i'm not locked into what their storylines are supposed to be i can create my own the other thing i'd really like to see and i'm going to bring this back to my pets thing that i said earlier in this video i would really like to see in a custom region an entire region that's just pets you know what I mean? Just animals. So you have to go. It's like there's certain islands, right? I don't know the names of them, but like there's pig islands down in the Bahamas where the island is just inhabited by pigs. Like it, they just swim in the water and they eat and there's tours and I think it's adorable. There's also another one called, I think it's Dog Island, if I remember correctly. Dog Island just has a bunch of dogs on it and there's no humans that live there. There's people that go and volunteer to take care of them and stuff. But other than that, it's like protected and like you can't take the dogs from there. So I, I like the kind of idea of gameplay, like giving your sit your little I keep calling them Sims, giving your little humans something to do, you know, is really fun. So I'm excited to see what you guys create, what everyone else creates with this, like what I create with this. You know, I, I'm really excited to see the amount of diversity the game is giving us. I just worry that it's going to be a lot for some people and that will turn them off of the game. I don't know necessarily if that's the case. I haven't heard anybody say that, but with a lot of customization like that, it can really turn people off because they're like, I'm not creative for this. I, I'm not going to lie. I've had that thought a couple times. I'm going to end the video here, but custom regions are massive. There's a lot of gameplay potential. There's a lot of building potential. There's a lot of ideas that we had to skim and like kind of cheat in a way in the sins that we're going to be able to do natively, which I'm excited for. So let me know what you guys think uh, of custom regions. I'm excited for them. I can't wait to start building them and create little regions of people and pockets of people and just craziness like pure chaos. I'm excited for it. I hope you guys are too. If you guys liked this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It does help me out. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right. Bye, everybody.